Oh, I'm spot on. OK, then the next one we are going to program this term. So if you put in the entire disk equation on the left hand side down here, we just put in two. You should get two, three, four, four, six, one, five. If I'm there's a few decimal point, okay, four, four, five, and it's exactly what I get on my calculator. Then I'm going to put in this value, okay. So it's equal to uh, bracket squared first because the outside squared. Then it's equal to five, five, two, o, o, divide by. I have to put a bracket, so I have a pi, pi. OK, then times by this C power of 3. OK, so the value is 4823902. So I'm using my calculator again, 55200 divided by C pi divided by 2 power of 3. And then I squared the whole thing. I get 4823901902. OK, it's good enough. OK, if I, if I open, so the correct answer is 5823901.553. So if I pull it out, 0.1553 is correct. Okay. Then, okay. So then, uh, I'm going. So we have a minus 50. Or oh, I'm going. I'm now. I'm going to do the whole form of the equation. Okay. So this is equal to uh, this plus this. Okay. And then the whole thing square root. Okay. So this plus this, this whole thing, SQRT is for square root, okay? And then minus 50 E3, okay? So 50 E3 is the, yeah, it is, is the, the, the equation that we put in, okay? So now the value is 4.7322.2, okay? So let, let, let me make sure. Uh, we are at correct two three four six six one four point four four five uh, plus by four eight two three nine zero one point five five three. Okay, square the whole thing is equal to okay then minus fifty power three four seven three three two. Okay, the formula is correct. Okay, so what we do now? Okay, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm going to show you the manual way. Okay, so if you increase, okay, four, five, the numbers are getting bigger. Yes or no? eight nine ten okay so 15 is no good so you have to go smaller two one so what we're trying to achieve is we want that cell okay we want this cell to be equal to what zero okay we want it to be equal to zero so we if we put down this equal to zero there's nothing so 0 0.1 okay oh 0 0.1 is way too big now so if i put uh 0 0.2 0 0.3 is going to be so it's 0 0.01 okay or 0 0.1 i don't know why is it okay so it's frustrating to do this manually i'm going to show you how to automate this okay i think it's the, uh yeah i'm going to show, so you go to data don't worry all these are recorded okay data then we are going to do what if can you see this this is what if right so you go into what if, okay, you go go sick. As I said, these are all recorded. You can review uh, when on your own, okay? You can review this on your own. So you go uh, go sick. So this will appear, okay? So set cell is what cell do you want it to be equal to zero? Okay, what cell do you want it to be zero? So the cell I want it to be equal to zero, it is C5, right? This one has to be equal to zero, okay? So C5 is this entire equation must be equal to zero. And then by changing this number over here, by changing C, okay? So once you got it, you just press OK and just put okay so the the right size of the diameter or the radius is 0 0.7505 okay i will do it again okay so this is a very small number now yes or no okay this is so 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 this uh, okay so now let me go through it again this is where you put in your equation one part of your equation is over here okay the next one is this part of the equation then this is the entire equation has to be equal to zero which this case is so now I put my my radius of the shelf to be 10. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so you start with 10. 
So you go to what if. Okay, you go to go sick. Okay. The set cell is the entire equation that has to be equal to zero. Okay, so this is the equation. Okay, or that is the cell that has to be equal to zero. The set value is you want it to be equal to zero. Right, then it satisfies your expression over there. And the changing is C, which is the radius of your what? Your radius of your sharp. Then you just put OK. OK. Uh, it's doing stupid stuff. And I think I know why. OK, once you come to a problem like that, means your guess, your initial guess is too far away. So we start with 10, right? So if this does not work, you bring it to 1. Okay, I cannot explain to you now because the cost that you have to take to know this is numerical methods. Okay, so but if you remember, I started with 10, right? I started with 10 and then when, when I say what if, okay? So again, uh, this must be equal to zero by changing this. I put okay. Okay, we are not going anywhere at all. So it, at any case, during your exam time, you're not going anywhere at all. Okay, so you started with 10, you're not going anywhere. You can go do two things. You can go bigger or you can go smaller. Okay, so now I do bigger. Okay, so now I want 100. Right? And I go. So you test, you realize that you're going bigger, you're going to do 100. So this cell has to be equal to 0 and this, and you just press equal and just wait. And again, you realize that, oh no, nothing again, okay? So you put in your final answer, no shaft diameter, <laughs> no shaft uh, radius. Don't do that, okay? So you press, okay, fine. I'm going to put this as one now, okay? Because I tried bigger, it did not work. Okay, I'm going to go smaller, okay? Then you put what if again, go sick, okay? So this cell over here, uh, wait, this cell over here has to be equal to zero and then by changing this cell then put okay ah you got an answer now you see that so now the sharp size is 0 0.750 0, uh, 0 0.7506 yeah i'm going to uh 0 0.75057 okay i'm going to copy this i'm going to write it down first my short term memory is getting bad i'm like a dog now so this is zero point you, you guys say yeah Eugene you're a dog all right zero seven zero point seven five zero five seven okay so this is the best size okay so we are going back to our spreadsheet okay so therefore using the Excel or the solver we found that C is equal to 0 0.7507 inches okay so this is the radius therefore radius of shaft is equal to 0 0.75057 inches diameter okay so 0 0.75057 times a eh, 0 0.75057 times 2 is equal to 1.5 uh, 0114 inches okay Okay. So your diameter, this is the this is the the smallest you can do. Okay. So maybe you can specify. Okay, if that's the case, let's do it at one point five one. Then you can use. Now, so that is that is your selection. This is an optimized solution. Okay. But however, you still have to check. Okay. You still have to check. So so to check, right? So we have to check. So we you have to check with okay. So now we have to check. Why we have to check? We only have satisfied one condition, okay? Where we only have satisfied this condition only. Okay. So we have to check again to make sure that tau max, okay, tau max 
is less than bleh, I'm having tongue tightness now. It's less than is less than or can be equal to 50 times 10 to power 3 psi. Okay. So we know that tau max is the radius, right? So tau max. So we are going to uh, pull in the radius uh, formula. So our radius is equal to what? Uh, so our radius is over here. Okay. So we have to substitute everything inside here. Okay, to substitute everything inside here. So this will be equal to you put everything in. So minus two five o o multiplied by uh, zero point seven five zero five seven minus by hold on, I got this bracket wrong. Minus by seventy two thousand. Okay, squared divide by 2 pi 0 0.75057 squared plus by 55 200 divide by pi uh, 0 0.75057 cube. Okay, and then it's cross bracket. Okay, so this will be equal to uh, minus 2500 or 2500 times by 0.75057, okay, plus by 72123, divide by 2, divide by shift pi, divide by 0 0.75057 squared, equal, and then I squared the whole thing again, so this is equal, it's equal to 43, 4, 435.6 times 10 to power 6 and then plus okay so this thing will hold the whole thing will go through a square root this thing is squared so 55200 divided by shift pi divided by 0.75057 power 3 okay then squared so I get uh, one point 1.726 or 727 times 10 to the power 9. Let me try again. 55200 divided by shift pi divided by 0 0.75057 power 3. And then square the whole thing. Yep, 1.7. So this will be equal 435.6 power 6 plus by 1.727 power 9. Square root the whole thing. I get. Uh, I get a, a number that is lower, which is okay. So this will be equal to 46. Because there's a lot of zeroing over here, okay? 503 times 10 to about 3 PSI. So this is okay because it is less than what? 50 times 10 to about 3 PSI. So we are good. With. But right, this number should be closer to 50, okay? Because there's a lot of zeroing error, this is to the power of nine to power six. If I use all the numbers, okay, then so is this the U stress? And then what what's that in the question? This is to ensure that when we check in terms of shear, we are less than 50 times 10 to the power of three. Okay, so that's what we are doing. Okay. Right, so I'm going to stop over here. Okay, that is where you are you will be tested in your exam okay there's another example I, I want to do but i don't think i have the time is when you have a beam it's going to be different okay so i will not test you on beams at all okay i will put on a video to teach you how to calculate for a beam okay how to calculate for a beam okay so that is all for today okay before i go on um or before i stop now you you see like what you observe down here is true engineering design okay this is a, the true engineering design why am i square rooting a negative number why 
what do you mean why you when you squared already right it's positive right so you there's no square root right okay 